everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'll be explaining to you my background of my second language learning my learning style and strategy and lastly i'll share with you some fun activities that i experienced during my second language learning so what are you waiting for let's go Hi, it's me again. So, my journey in SLL is I started my SLL during my childhood. I received formal education in English, just like any other kid, where I learned English in school. I downloaded my interest in English since I was a kid by watching a popular TV series, which is High Five. I really enjoyed that show. Plus, my English teacher also encouraged me to participate in storytelling and poems when I was in primary school. Yeehaw. Then, I continued learning English during high school. I improved my English by actively participating in class activities. We had a lot of fun activities, such as group presentation. The interesting part is the best group will get a few kids of cake that my teachers speak. <laughs> my journey in English never stopped. I pursued my studies in English in South Asia in Castle. And now, I'm a third year degree student in Bachelor of English with Communication. I continuously learning English as a teacher's mathematician to master it. I have learned to feel dependent, where I prefer to work with others to achieve a common goal. I'm greatly influenced by my teacher, but I'm very often interact with her. I am more sensitive to others' feelings, opinions, and ideas, I like to practice and learn by experimentation. Wow, well, I'm a right brain, and right brain tend to be creative, emotional, and intuitive. They are more likely an imaginative and innovative thinker, and are often prone to feel where they can express themselves freely and help others. I also learn to ambiguity and tolerance. I'm a minded in accepting ideologies, events, and facts that contradict my own views. Plus, I'm free to entertain a number of innovative and creative possibilities. When it comes to making decisions, I am more reflectivity, which is slower and more calculated decision. I tend to weigh all the considerations in a problem and work out all the loopholes, as this is reflection, and then venture solution. Last but not least, I'm a visual learner. I learn by readings or seeing pictures. Understand and remember things by signs, often close my eyes to visualize or remember something, and find something to watch if I become bored. I am easily distracted by sounds, and more attracted to color and to spoken languages like stories that is rich in imagery. For learning strategies, I apply cognitive strategies in my SLL. What is cognitive strategies? It is more limited to a specific learning task and involves more direct manipulation of learning material itself. Hmm, let's look at the examples and how I apply these strategies in learning English. Meanwhile, I have to find my cat. These are a few examples of cognitive strategies that I use. First is note taking. I always take note during class and jot down important things. Grouping. I divided my assignment and task based on the priority and deadline. Imagery. Imagining a lot of things during lectures. And lastly, keyword, which is I remember keywords and new words in L2. For communication strategies, I apply compensatory strategy, which is technique or modification to our behavior or environment that are used to compensate for a deficit, weakness, injury, or perceived inadequacy in a specific area or skill. This are a few examples that I often use. First of all, is prefer beginning pattern. Kalau teacher, I get to toilet. Go switch it. Di mana ikan mana? And my favorite little translation. Let's go together, together. And lastly, story or tangi ni, which is uh, 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 uh. I have a lot of fun activities in my second language learning. First is, as I said before, I join storytelling. I remember that uh, the title is No White and Seven Blocks, so I got that place, and it was a very um, fun experience. And during my high school, we always have a group presentation, and we make a cute card or something like that. Oh, I also have um. Keep this for a long time, so it's like it. And I think this kind of activity is really make my confidence level higher because I found that oh, learning English is fun and it's kind of good. And it's a very fun language, and I have a lot of great experience. Oh, and I think that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoy and get to know me. Say bye. 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 Bye.